which has four of these, what I call modules, like that thing, in here. And the four modules each have a circuit board associated with them that controls the state of charge and monitors the health and safety of the battery bag at all times. The neat thing about that is this eliminates a lot of wiring that you would see in some typical battery bag. So basically they stitch bond these two ribbon, connect, uh, ribbon cables to this board. Voltage in and out of the battery pack is monitored through that ribbon cable. Everything on this battery pack is glued together. There's not a component in here that doesn't have glue on it. <laughs> they did not want me getting inside their battery pack. I had to hammer and chisel the cover off of this thing. So this is not a maintenance, maintenance friendly battery pack. So these cross structures are all bolted and glued in place. This pad, everything is glued in place. So for serviceability, if you ever had to replace them, you'd have a hard time. Serviceability, throw the whole thing away, get a new, get a new one. one. Pretty much. That's expensive. But I'm thinking this probably will last 15, 20 years with an operational lifetime. Uh, you have to monitor every individual cell, right? No. So, uh, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you why we don't. Basically, I think they have somewhere between 90 and 130 new patents on this battery and the battery pack. So, Mark, do you know what, are they using uh, NCA or something like that? They are using NCA. Okay. And that is nickel, cobalt, and aluminum. Yeah. Which is one of the more volatile electrochemistries out there, but I think they're doing a pretty good job. This is a current collector. This current collector has 46 of these individual cells connected in parallel to it. Those 46 cells act as one battery. When they're in parallel, you get your nominal voltage of this, which is three and a half volts. You get the same voltage, but you have 46 times the capacity of each individual cell. When you connect these in series, you can see these go all the way up through the battery pack. When you connect each of these bricks in series, then your voltage jumps. You've got three and a half, and you got seven, and you add three and a half, and you add three and a half every time you make a series connection. So there are 96 of these in the entire pack. So when connected together, they get 350 volts output. I'm, in, I'm sorry, how many in, in each module? 46 cells in I'm each, sliding. they call it a brick. Tesla speak, they call it a brick. And then there are two of these modules have 23, and I think the other two, the longer ones, have 26 of these bricks in them. There's a total of 96. 96 these, bricks? 96 bricks of 46 cells. <laughs> So there's a total of 4,416 cells in the entire battery pack. Do, do they make their own cells in Reno? They do make their own cells in Reno. It's a joint venture with Panasonic, yeah. Sorry, how many total did you say? 4,416. 4, if my old brain is working, that's the number anyway. <laughs> Pardon? This is one of the four, yeah, four modules within the whole battery pack. There's 350. The total number of cells is the total number of cells is the option, isn't that what gives you the premium battery? Yeah, this is the premium battery pack, and the optional one I think has. Uh, three fewer of these groups of 46 cells in each of the modules than the bigger one. <coughs> yes. 
still three big chunks. There's still <coughs> going to be four <coughs> big small. chunks. Yeah, just small. <coughs> what happens when one cell fails? Okay, that's... <coughs> so the reason everything's glued together in here is that you see these little wires. If I can get one to stick up. Yeah. These little wires, there are two of these wires connected to each one of these cells. So there are 9,000 some little wires connecting everything together in the whole battery pack. And the reason they glue everything is if anything vibrates, <coughs> these things break off and then you lose a cell. If you lose a cell, you don't necessarily throw your battery pack away. You have 146 the amount of capacity you had if you lose one cell. That's why they run a number of them in parallel. It acts like one big battery, yeah. but if I lose one, I'm still okay. It's not going to affect, really have much of an effect on the performance of the vehicle. What if it shorts out though, right? I mean, it breaks off. Just sits there. And, like and, your Christmas tree lights. Yeah. 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 Well, no, that's yeah. not going to be at all like Christmas tree lights. Well, not? it's just a dead battery. Yeah. No, you'd be shorting the whole, the whole system. Right? No. You're in parallel. Yeah. But that That's going to burn. If I have a short, that's going to burn and it's going to disconnect it from the system. So you're assuming that acts like a fuse. Though. That's what I'm assuming. And since it's so small, I bet it does. Because the whole issue all the Because. Yeah. But, There's several failure modes. Well, there are a lot of failure modes. There's a lot of different failure modes. But with this kind of uh, battery construction, yeah. I think that's been minimized considerably over the years to where I, I trust this pretty much to be a good battery pack. In the bolt, in the bolt with the LG batteries, one of those fail with almost as much work as trying to get these things out to replace it. It's a little easier, you know, you've got bigger batteries, they have more capacity, and when one of those fail, you don't have the advantage of 46 more, or you know, 45 more batteries to continue operation of the vehicle. You pretty much have to replace it at failure. And with this, you can allow a certain number of failures, and you're just going to get a small reduction in your uh, drivability range, basically. And that's what you're moving more toward this with your second generation. A lot of people are moving more towards this, and I think part of it is because the commercial availability and the maturity of the construction of these cells is pretty paramount. It may, it may. I don't know because we tore this thing apart so fast we didn't do all of the diagnostics.